Hi guys, welcome to the channel this week. And this week on Bushcraft Techniques, I'll be showing you how you can use natural materials from your environment that are flammable, that will help you get a fire started. Now for this, I'll be using a ferrocerium rod. Um, you can get these anywhere, you can buy them off eBay, internet. They're dirt cheap, um, just like flint and steel. Um, but all it is is magnesium um, and something else, it's a mix, um, but I'll get Dad to show you because I'm holding the camera. This is one of our older ones, so it's a bit hammered, but using the 90 degree spine on the back of your bushcraft knife, holding that, you firmly push like that. It spits sparks like that, and that'll catch any flammable tinder alight. We're supposed to. Supposed to, yeah. <laughs> That's the general idea. Th there is a technique to it, um, without making all your tinder there is. go everywhere. But so, Because we've been cutting a load of dead trees for the build, um, we've managed to find sort of where you cut the branch off the main trunk. Close by to the trunk, you'll find there's usually a section that... They call fatwood. It's like an orangey colour, and it smells very, very piney, very, lemony. very, very strong, citrusy. lemony, citrusy smell. Um, so yeah, if you get that orange colour, cut a piece off, and then scrape it, and then just try and catch those scrapings, which is what I've just done, onto a top for your shirt or whatever. Dry surface, basically. And that the, these fatwood branches uh, are called fatwood because they have a high concentration of resin in them, mm -hmm. and pine resin is high in turpentine or terpene. And terpene is a highly flammable substance. It's waterproof and also windproof, um, so you can light it even in the wet. <laughs> right. So what we've got here is very, very, very wet floor. Um, so what we've done is we've batoned up some uh, kindling and lay that next to each other to create a, a bed, a dry bed for this to sort of sit on. Um, I can't make any promises. And also here guys, um, got, this is birch bark. Yeah, we've got some birch bark scraping. Now birch bark is, birch bark's resin is also very flammable um, and birch bark naturally peels every year anyway um, and falls off so you can easily get a nice big curl of bark off a birch tree. And you just get your knife, scrape the surface till you get like a, this this ready fluffy stuff in the middle there. That's the birch bark scraping. That is also flammable. So hopefully with the two, <laughs> we should be able to get a result. There we have fire guys, by using natural flammable materials. You can hear the fat, the, the resin. resin really going for it there. And then this is the fat wood that he's putting on now. And it should go up straight away. So there you have it guys. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something, and we'll see you next week. See you next week.